Good afternoon. I'm here to talk to you about my religion. Uh, what's it about? I'm in. I've seen a lot of isekais. I've seen the good ones, and I've seen the bad ones. Ever since the emergence of the godfather of isekais, isekais became very popular. Every mangaka and their mother have been trying to make isekais. That time I was reincarnated into a vending machine. That time I was reincarnated into a depressed 21 year old who gets no bitches. Why is the camera on me? You are maidenless. Basically, there have been a lot of garbage isekais over the years. But since the genre is so popular, I have to sit through about 20 of them every single time a new anime season rolls around. So, to say that my expectations were to the floor when I started this anime would be an understatement. And I will not lie, I thought about giving up on this anime after the first episode. I mean, Remu didn't even get hit by a truck coon. That completely goes against the rules of an isekai. At first, I was just rather uninterested in this slime. I mean, come on, it's a slime who fears having his browser history leaked. Which is <laughs> totally not relatable at all. Slimes are always known as the weakest creatures that you farm off spawn. That would be the worst possible thing to be reincarnated as, right? Wrong. Remru absorbs the power of the things that he eats. Wait, is he just Kirby? So, my thoughts were that this is gonna be an anime with a non-overpowered protagonist like Kazuma. And boy was I wrong. But unlike most edgy protagonists who want to return back home, or want to take over the world, this guy just wants a nice place to relax at. If you ran a poll on the most likable isekai protagonist, this slime would probably be near the top. He's not an overbearing pervert who is after every woman he sees. Sure, he has his moments, but it's not like it takes away from the plot, because this slime doesn't have a wiener. Sure, we get an overpowered protagonist, but it just doesn't feel that way. Remember, is just a nice lovable slime. He's not some edgelord who lords his power over everyone, unlike someone- <coughs> Kirito! He's also very smart due to having Jarvis inside of his brain, and thinks things through instead of acting out on emotion. Also, thank god Remaru kills people. He's not some pussy protagonist who refuses to kill others. He's more than willing to kill 20,000 people for his friends. This protagonist is also constantly evolving, mentally and physically. This isekai is so great because he actually feels like a real character that's been developed and has a personality. The world building in my opinion is chef's kiss. I get to watch the slime build his empire by getting different groups to join his federation. Could he absolutely massacre this nation and take it over? Absolutely. Does he do that? No. He goes through diplomatically and through friendship. He doesn't go all Ein's Al Ghul and wipe everyone out. Let the record show uh, that this, uh, this doesn't count. They were uh, NPCs. Speaking of world building, it has a strong foundation with a large variety of species and races, as well as kingdoms. True, it's common races such as dwarves, goblins, lizardmen, elves, but each of these kingdoms have unique and memorable characters that I actually remembered. It's not like having a character show up and then you never see them again. All these characters constantly come and go throughout the story. This makes them feel like actual characters, not just some filler characters who we'll never see again. Each of these characters has their own agenda. Some of them choose to join Rimuru, but they don't just say, our kingdom is yours. And sure, these characters might not be the most phenomenally written, but they're all written well. Comedy is an important part of any isekai. If it doesn't have comedy or fan service, the isekai is likely not to succeed. In the comedy in this anime, it has its moments, but it doesn't force itself to always be a joke. It can have serious moments that display genuine emotion. But to say that this anime doesn't have lots of funny moments would be a lie. I mean look at this, he's using a ton of anime abilities. Is that a Kamehameha? Let's face it, this isekai has a better plot than most animes, regardless of if it's an isekai. When I watch anime, I want to see progression, I want to see the protagonist change, and the world change around him. And most importantly, I want to see him get a harem. We get to watch him build an empire from the ground up, fight wars, and experience loss. I cried only once in this anime, but was near tears on another. But he's a pussy. The part where I almost cried was when Shizu asked to rest inside of Rimuru because she didn't want to be absorbed by the world she hated so much. And her last wish was to find out if a certain someone acknowledged her existence. She was only on screen for a few episodes, so I was surprised to see how they built her as a character and then watch Rimuru carry on that will. Before I mention the time I bawled like a baby in the middle of church, I will mention that I have the incredible ability of being absolutely stupid. I am unable to guess what is about to happen in shows, which I consider a blessing. The death of Xion had me crying, because the tempo that this anime has taken didn't have much death. So I expected her to be injured when it panned away from her fight, or expected some dumb gag like, that's not Xion, that's a lookalike. But when Rimuru saw this, I felt the silence. He had to put on the mask that took away emotions, just so he could think clearly. Also, I really didn't think they'd go with the Jesus Resurrection Act, but they did. And the Demon Lord transformation was epic. I've been seeing this picture on so many people's profile pictures, but never knew where it was from till now. The whole demon arc was pretty interesting too. I enjoyed Clayman getting beat up by Xion after he's been built up for so long, 
The introduction of all the demon lords in the hierarchy. Season 2 is just so amazing, and I'm super excited for the next season. Wait, what do you mean it's not confirmed for season 3? But at least we get a movie that's coming out. Also, I hate recap episodes and this anime had too many. Hello, Outro Lunar here. Click here if you want to see my channel. Click over here if you want to see my most recent video. Click over here if you want to see the recommended video. Bye bye.